Legendary Engineering Top 5 Underrated World War II Fighters Number 1. Eurati The Eurati was a Romanian World War II low-wing monoplane, all-metal monocoque fighter and ground-attack aircraft. When it first flew, in 1939, it was comparable to contemporary designs being deployed by the air forces of the most advanced military powers such as the Hawker Hurricane and BF-109E. Production problems and lack of available armament delayed entry of the Ear 80 into service until 1941. It remained in frontline use until May 1945. Number 2. Maki C-205. With a top speed of some 640 km per hour, 400 miles per hour, and equipped with a pair of 20mm cannon as well as 12.7mm Breda machine guns, the Maki C.205 Viltro was highly respected by Allied and Axis pilots alike. Widely regarded as one of the best Italian aircraft of World War II, it proved to be extremely effective, destroying a large number of Allied bombers. The Maki C. 205 proved capable of meeting fighters such as the North American P-51D Mustang on equal terms, which encouraged the Luftwaffe to use a number of these aircraft to equip one Gruppe. While the C.205 was able to match the best Allied opponents in speed and maneuverability, it was introduced late in the conflict. Due to the limitations of the Italian war economy, only a small production run was delivered before the end of the war. Number 3. Bell P-39 Air Cobra the Bell P-39 Air Cobra was a fighter produced by Bell Aircraft produced for the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II. It was one of the principal American fighters in service when the United States entered combat. The P-39 was used by the Soviet Air Force, and enabled individual Soviet pilots to collect the highest number of kills attributed to any U.S. fighter type flown by any Air Force in any conflict. Other major users of the type included the Free French, the Royal Air Force, and the Italian co-belligerent Air Force. It had an unusual layout, with the engine installed in the center fuselage, behind the pilot, and driving a tractor propeller in the nose with a long shaft. It was also the first fighter fitted with a tricycle undercarriage. Number 4. Curtis P-40 Warhawk The Curtis P-40 Warhawk is an American single-engined, single-seat, all-metal fighter and ground-attack aircraft that first flew in 1938. The P-40 design was a modification of the previous Curtis P-36 Hawk which reduced development time and enabled a rapid entry into production and operational service. The Warhawk was used by most Allied powers during World War II, and remained in frontline service until the end of the war. Between 1941 and 1944, the P-40 played a critical role with Allied air forces in three major theaters, North Africa, the Southwest Pacific, and China. The P-40 performed surprisingly well as an air superiority fighter, at times suffering severe losses, but also inflicting a very heavy toll on enemy aircraft. Based on wartime victory claims, over 200 Allied fighter pilots became aces flying the P-40. The P-40 offered the additional advantages of low cost and durability, which kept it in production as a ground attack aircraft long after it was obsolete as a fighter. Number 5. Brewster Buffalo the Brewster F-2A Buffalo is an American fighter aircraft which saw service early in World War II. Designed and built by the Brewster Aeronautical Corporation, it was one of the first U.S. monoplanes with an arrestor hook and other modifications for aircraft carriers. The Buffalo won a competition against the Grumman F-4F Wildcat in 1939 to become the U.S. Navy's first monoplane fighter aircraft. Several nations, including Finland, Belgium, Britain and the Netherlands, ordered the Buffalo. The Finns were the most successful with their Buffaloes, flying them in combat against early Soviet fighters with excellent results. The new Brewster fighter had a modern look with a stubby fuselage, mid-set monoplane wings and a host of advanced features. Please like and subscribe for more quality content from Legendary Engineering.